been playing to 2,000 people, 1,000 people, yeah. 3,000 people, maybe a festival occasionally. And you're walking to arenas of 10, 20,000 capacity. Yeah. I mean, no one could really prepare you for that. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's definitely crazy. And what really helped is so we had a one-off date in South Carolina at the House of Blues. And then we came home immediately after. And I had, I had a wedding to shoot, so it kind of worked out for me. But it also helped of like, okay, day one, what could we have done differently? What did I need? What didn't I need? And I like switched out stuff. I like switched out like bags. Like I had everything packed in my camera bag. It was so heavy and sucked to carry around. So at least I came home, like split stuff up and just having like a second bag to like carry my laptop in and everything else was like, okay, that's a move I was able to make. Mm -hmm. Having that gap literally between one day made the biggest difference. Interesting. Uh, what else did you yeah. change? So you had your bag. Did you leave any lens at home? Did you grab something you had left behind? Any like batteries, personal belongings? You Luckily forgot? for that, I was pretty on top of things. Um, I think gear wise, I was pretty set because like I don't have a ton of gear, but what I do have can like get me across everything. And I only mm -hmm. left like one portrait lens at home because the chances of me needing it at 85 on the road were like slim to none. Mm -hmm. um, just the weight of the bags help. What I didn't know how to do is how to pack for myself for like a month because I didn't know I didn't know if like laundry was a thing on the road and I'm like I swear to God if I run out of underwear like I'm gonna freak out and that's like, such a hard I thing to ask like, them I'm like I'm just meeting you yeah but like, yeah I'm like I don't yeah. know what to ask and it's like I also like I, I freak out like I'll do anything to not be rude like I'll mm -hmm. try so nice to be like oh I don't want to like impose or yeah. anything and I didn't know like so we were supposed to have this renovated truck that we were gonna live in. Okay. So I'm thinking there's like no bathroom. There's nothing like that. I was like, there's no, not going to be laundry. Like I'm thinking we're like roughing it. We ended up getting like hotels all the time. The truck never worked out. So it was like there were conveniences on the road. And it's like, yeah, I'm not the only person in the world who has to do laundry. Laundry is a thing on the road. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, now like going into the next one, like I know I can pack less because that suitcase <laughs> suck to take her around like that was the uh, i think out of the whole tour like that's what i hated the most and it didn't survive like i literally broke it on the last day also just the embarrassment having the biggest oh my out god of yeah. yeah and i'm like yeah i'm a girl but also like this sucks i don't want this <laughs> Uh, what did you guys travel in mostly? So the truck thingy didn't work so out? So the truck didn't work out. It was like renovated. It was so cool. They had like six different bunks for us to sleep in, like a little kitchen area and everything. But it wasn't realistic to like drive on the road with people because it would be the, the they didn't have a suspension to like support it. So it would be like way uh. too bumpy. And there was just so many things. So we were traveling in a Suburban with a trailer the whole time. And then when we could, we would like get hotels. And then other times it was like the drive between venues was like 10 to 12 hours and you had to be there. So we would like leave whatever venue we were at, like midnight, 1 a.m., whenever we were like done packing up and just went straight there. And you kind of just like roughed it. So, you know, that makes always for like a fun and like tiresome adventure uh i always look back fondly on like the walmart parking lots yep. in the morning uh was that your experience as well waking up at 8 a.m in a walmart uh not a walmart we would just do it go straight to the venue okay. once i got woken up in louisiana at an ihop and that feels like a fever dream i wonder if i've been to that ihop i've been to many an ihop <laughs> in louisiana yeah i have my friends out there like, i've oh, been down there right. many times yo it was the weirdest experience like it was 3 a.m and i Obviously, we're the only there. ones there. And I'm just getting woken up. I was up for almost like two days straight because mm -hmm. that's when I had just started working for like Breaking Benjamin on the tour. And so I had just like been editing and they just like wake me up and they're like, yo, where did I have? I'm like, okay, what? The International House of Pancakes. <laughs> yeah. And I just like walk in and I just sit there just like. Just like, this is like every effort is taking me to just like sit up. Waitress comes up to us. We're all like ordering. She's like, oh no, baby, you don't want that. And we're just like. <laughs> what? She just keeps telling us we don't want these things. We're like, but we do. That's the most Louisiana thing. Yeah. yeah. And I was just so confused because my entire like thought process was like, yeah, my first time in Louisiana, I'm gonna get some Cajun food. Like I'm gonna go adventure and see some cool stuff. And my, it was just I hop at three a.m. Yep. There is something to comfort food, like when you're on the road and everything is so foreign throughout the time. Like there's yeah. something about nice that like an IHOP is the same basically everywhere. And it was many actually the first time I'd ever been to an IHOP. <laughs> 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 How is that possible? I just said, I don't go out to eat. I'm so cheap. <laughs> Have you been to an IHOP since? Was that your singular IHOP experience? No, and it was a bummer. So I want to go back to an IHOP and be like, I need you guys to like fix this experience for me. Because she kept telling us all the things we didn't want. And then she still brought out everything wrong. <laughs> like she, she was super nice. Like no, like no hate on mm -hmm. her. But also like. She's not listening. It's okay. Yeah, no, I <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like at some point, some random person is be like, they're talking about you. <laughs> <laughs>